The Netflix show Bridgerton is currently the biggest show to date, with more than 80 million viewers and counting. Let's find out why the newly minted star almost quit acting before landing a role in the series. What acting background does Denver have? What are the plans for a sequel to the hugely successful show? And which major character won't be making a comeback on future seasons of the show? Little Miss Denver's early discouragements. Born in 1995, Phoebe Denver is an English actress who began her acting career at a very young age. Denver's starring role as Daphne Bridgerton in the Netflix series Bridgerton is her breakout role, and the role has earned her numerous nominations and awards, including the Screen Actors Guild Award nomination for outstanding performance by an ensemble in a drama series, alongside three other main casts of the hit series. Denver was born into a family of movie professionals, as her father is Emmerdale screenwriter Tim Denver, and her mother Sally Denver is an actress who is widely known for portraying Sally Webster in the long-running British show Coronation Street. Interestingly, her paternal grandparents also worked in the movie industry. Phoebe Denver had revealed that her screenwriter dad and actress mom had begged her to tread a distinct professional path as they thought that acting might not be the best bet for the young child actress. Phoebe said, At 13, I was pushing them, saying I want to be an actor. I remember them saying that only 3% of actors work. They would give me all the crazy statistics, saying don't do it. But I was always in love with the industry and have always found people in the arts just really fascinating. Up next, how Phoebe almost did quit acting. Before Netflix started working on its now widely acclaimed hit show Bridgerton, Phoebe Denver was seriously making plans to quit acting and find something else to try her hands on. The English actress had been auditioning for various roles for more than nine months and was getting quite disheartened due to her constant failure in securing a role. The distraught former child actress had already started making preparations to move out of Los Angeles and return home before the fateful call came in from Netflix's representatives. And the rest, they say, is cinematic history. The actress had already booked her flight out of Los Angeles before she was informed she's been invited for a reading with future co-star Reggae Jean Page. While narrating the experience, she stated that, I got a call saying, can you come in and read with Reggae next week? So I was like, that's annoying because I've got to move my flight. I hope it pays off. I didn't think anything of it. Then the next day, they were like, Netflix will pay for your flight back to London as you've got to be in rehearsals on Monday. It was a crazy whirlwind. Interesting, right? Up next, the show Bridgerton. The hit TV show Bridgerton follows the story of Daphne Bridgerton, the first daughter of the aristocratic Bridgerton family, as she learns the ropes and tries to make headway in 18th century London's contentious marriage scene. Produced by Shonda Rhimes, the eight-episode show features a familiar twist of romance, circumstances, and treachery. Featured prominently in the popular show is a series of soirees and dances where young women Women are introduced to young men, who then pick their favorites and later seek to make personal connections with them. The families of both intending couples then seek each other out and try to find out all they can about the other family, all to determine suitability. Young Daphne Bridgerton got off to a great start after she gains the favor of the queen, which made her the object of gossip. But after a couple of mishaps and circumstantial events, Daphne starts to fear that she'd lose her value on the marriage market. This then leads her to come up with a plan that involves hitching up with the young and desirable Duke Simon Bassett, portrayed on screen by Reggae Jean Page. Since the rebellious Duke doesn't want to get married and needs a ruse to fend off the several families who seek to foist their daughters on him, he and Daphne agree to end up in a relationship of convenience where they mutually help each other achieve their respective goals. We are about to dive into more about Bridgerton Season 2, the announcement, and how it will affect the hit series we love so much. So get yourself comfy and let's get stuck into it. What's up with Bridgerton Season 2? Following the immense success of the first season of Bridgerton, Netflix never missing a mark had earlier in the year announced that there was going to be a second season to the streaming platform's biggest show. It was further confirmed that the second season would start shooting in August 2021, with a release date set in 2022. The series, which is based on Julia Quinn's series of romantic novels, has a lot of literary materials to work with, 
as the book consists of eight books. Each book focuses on one of the Bridgerton kids. Since the first season centers around the eldest Bridgerton daughter, Daphne Bridgerton, it is expected that the second season may focus on another Bridgerton child. With this trend, there is a fair chance that all Bridgerton offspring would get their seasons in a long run. The book writer has further stated that she's working on a prequel to the Bridgerton series, with the prequel following the Bridgerton kids' lives as children. Meanwhile, while there have been certain confirmations concerning the second show, show producer Shonda Rhimes has announced the casting for season two. The news was a big shock to a lot of Bridgerton viewers. So what was the announcement, and how does it affect the future of the hit TV series? Keep watching to find out. Next, guess who's not coming to season two? Everyone seemed to fall in love with the Duke of Hastings character portrayed by Reggae Jean Page, but it came as a rude shock when Netflix announced that the rebellious Playboy Simon Bassett wouldn't be making an appearance on the second season of the hit show. The Zimbabwean British actor also confirmed his exit from the show via an interview he had with Variety. He said, It's a one season arc. It's going to have a beginning, middle, and end. Give us a year. I get to come in, I get to contribute my bit, and then the Bridgerton family rolls on. The star further posted a farewell picture on his Instagram page with the caption, Ride of a Lifetime. So, what prompted the character? exclusion from the second season. Veteran producer and Bridgerton showrunner Shonda Rhimes, while announcing the exit of Reggae Jean Page from future seasons of the show, stated that the actor was contracted for only a season. The Duke of Hastings character had by the end of the first season solidified his romantic affair with his lover Daphne through the birth of their son, thus giving them a befitting happily ever after. While the Simon Bassett character wouldn't be making a comeback, it has been confirmed that Phoebe Denver character Daphne would be returning in the second season, albeit in a supporting role. Netflix has further revealed that the second season of the show would be centering around another familiar character. Let's find out who. Next, more about the sequel. After the success of the first season, Netflix, while announcing the second season, also made it clear that the second season would be featuring a new set of lead characters with their own separate story. This makes the second season a fresh season, even though it's still set in the same plot as the first season. The second season of the popular show will focus on the eldest Bridgerton son, Anthony Bridgerton. Actor Jonathan Bailey will also make a comeback as the leading character character in the second season. The new season, which would also be based on the second book of the Julia Quinn romantic series, The Viscount Who Loved Me, would follow Anthony's tumultuous love life and his eventful search for true love. Actress Simone Ashley has been confirmed to join the Bridgerton cast, and she will play Anthony's love interest, Kate Sharma, in the show's second season. Netflix has also further confirmed that there is going to be a third and fourth season. The upcoming series is already being planned out while the filming of the second season is currently ongoing. Bridgerton has certainly come to stay as a classic hit show that would be talked about for years to come, and actress Phoebe Denever has also come from the brink of quitting to become one of the most popular faces on screen. Do you think the success of the second season would eclipse the first? Or does Netflix have a load of surprises for the viewers in the coming season? Guess we'd find out when the season comes out. Thanks for watching.